Hey guys, in this video, I'll be reviewing set 75947, Hagrid's Hut Buckbeak's Rescue. This set has 496 pieces, is for ages 8 and up, and retailed for $60 in the United States. It has 6 minifigures, and let's take a look at them right now. First up, we have Harry Potter. He comes the same exactly how he comes in the Expecto Patronum set. Review on that up there. Um, he comes with those tan legs, the blue jacket with the light blue shirt underneath, his dark brown wand, a bit of back printing, some creases in his shirt, and then on the back he has a lot more angry expression, and then, of course, the scar, the lightning scar, the same as it is on the front with a little gap in the hair so that you can see it and then on the front he looks a lot more happy and obviously he has glasses but yeah this figure comes in a lot of lego harry potter sets like the night bus the hagrid's hut the expecto patronum and i think there's a few more but yeah it, i mean it's a pretty good figure and if you're making a stop motion like when he goes back in time then you could definitely use multiple. Let's move on to the next figure. Next up, we have Harry Potter's best friend, Ron Weasley. He comes with a red shirt that looks kind of, um, not very nice. Probably not new, probably hand-me-down, like Ron always gets. Has some back printing, some creases, and some light red at the bottom. And all three of these characters, Ron, Hermione, and Harry, uh, all three in this set come with mid-legs, and Ron has the dark gray legs. He has a bit of a smile at the front, and then on the back, he looks less happy. This might be the face he has when he's throwing up the slugs. And he has a light brown wand. And he uses the Luke Skywalker hairpiece in a orangish. That's it for this figure. Let's move on to Hermione. Hermione Granger comes with the light blue mid legs. She has a pink jacket with a pink shirt on. And she has the Time Turner necklace right there she has a smiling face with a very big hair piece which is really nice it's like a really cool piece and if you take that off it reveals some more printing at the back and it has the indentations that lego does sometimes for female people in lego she has the tan wand and then she looks very angry at the back. Maybe she's angry that Malfoy called her a mudblood and that Ron is throwing up slugs. But yeah, this is a great figure. Let's move on to the next one. Next up we have the half-giant Hagrid. He obviously comes with a his own mold for his body. He does come with short brown, dark brown legs that attached to his mold and a big hair piece that is too big for minifigures as you can see it doesn't really fit it's kind of some space in there but it fits him great for his big um, mold and you can see there's a pocket on the side and his arms have Technic pieces that's how they connect and something very interesting to note is that the hands on, I think all Hagrid's, because my friend's Hagrid also, his hand makes that squeaking noise. It's, it can drive you crazy if you keep doing it, and it can drive your friends crazy. So I would recommend not turning the hand, because it makes people around you annoyed. But he has a really weird face because you don't see it, and so it doesn't matter. And no back face because that will be a huge waste. Um, he has a belt buckle and another pocket on the other side. 
and he comes with um, his lantern and his pink umbrella, which is actually magic. But, yeah, a really cool figure, other than the hands. The hands are really annoying. So, Lego, please fix the squeaky hands as best you can. But, let's move on to the next figure. Next up, we have the Minister of Magic, Cornelius Fudge. He has some gray printing on his back for creases. And he has a suit piece for his torso. He looks not very happy. He has a bit of a frown on his face. And obviously he doesn't have a second face because that would be visible. And it would be really creepy, like the Professor Quirrell in the Great Hall set. But this leg piece isn't the exact one he's supposed to have because I don't have it right now. I put it somewhere else. But this is, he's supposed to have the coattail piece and it would line up with the printing from his torso on both sides. This is the closest other than that that I have. And he comes with a black hat, pretty cool, and then gray eyebrows. And kind of plain, no extra faces or anything, but I would say pretty accurate to the movie. Let's move on to the next figure. And finally, we have the Executioner with his ax so he can execute Buckbeak. Spoiler, he doesn't. But he comes with a cloak for his hat or whatever. Um, he does actually have printing on the back of his head, which is really weird because he's supposed to have his cloak on. But, I mean, that's pretty nice of Lego to do. And the face printing looks a bit faded, but I think... So a lot of times it's even worse than this so I think it's pretty good for this um because they're printing the his skin color onto a black uh um piece so it's not perfect but also on the top of his torso it looks like a bit of a faded skin tone but his torso looks very detailed lots of lines and like a cl ripped cl cloak all over it, and some back printing, uh, no leg printing. And then you get this little thing that you can build. It's a stick piece in black with the, uh, I don't know, sharp, like, cutting piece. And then a skating piece connected to a clip piece. And it looks pretty cool. The executioner can hold it like he's going to execute Buckbeak, but he doesn't because Harry and Hermione save Buckbeak. And finally, we have not a minifigure, but a molded piece for Buckbeak. I think this is a completely new mold because I don't think there are any other um, hippogriffs in Lego, so I believe this is a new mold. But the head can move down from the neck, can like drink water if you get blue Lego pieces. And it has wings that are attached to it, has a tail at the back. And the wings are attached from these clip pieces right here that attach on that. And then those have two 2x2s two two stacked on top so that they can just sit right in there and you can get a minifigure and have them ride Buckbeak like that and they can fly through the sky you can like pretend to flap its wings and that just fell off but yeah it has yellow eyes and some printing at the top but yeah it's a pretty cool mold for Lego to do let's move on to the build there are two builds in this set, the pumpkin patch with the chain attached to Buckbeak and Hagrid's hut. So let's take a look at the smaller build first. The pumpkin patch with Buckbeak's chain. It has some pumpkin molds and some just orange head pieces with some green flower pieces on top. And it has green vine pieces all over. 
Um, yeah, it has this piece. I don't know what this is. I've never had a piece like this. But it is like a, a rod for Buckbeak stand. And then there's a, a long chain that attaches to this clip, which also has this like handle piece that's normally used for. And that has a smaller chain that goes around Buckbeak's neck. And he's trapped. So they have to wait for Harry and Hermione to free him. But yeah, it's a pretty good build. Uh, kind of small, but it's pretty nice to get pumpkin pieces and a place for Harry and Hermione to rescue Buckbeak. So let's move on to the main build. The main build of the set is obviously Hagrid's Hut. It has lots of stickers. There's a sticker on both doors of some wood detailing. And it uses the snot technique, stud not on top, to have these tan pieces around the house. And it uses snot technique again to have these vines growing along the walls. And there's just a little snot piece. It has these windows that you can open, and then it has window you can open, like that. And it has a vine on the roof with this uh, chimney, which if you push down you can get the light brick. I'll talk about that more later. But this roof is not built super great because if I just take this piece and I move it around a little it just falls off it's not super secure like see I clip it back on and then just knock it a little and it falls off so I wish Lego could have gotten that connected a little bit better these are like the same thing except smaller for the smaller part of it but yeah it's that's how it is but this uses that piece so it can go like that just so it can be flat and go straight up there's a wall sticker for like rocks and moss and that is a huge sticker i wish there were more printed pieces but obviously it helps keep the price down but when we go to the inside, you can see what I was talking about, about the light brick. Just take out the chair and the table. If you press down that black piece there, this is supposed to push down and make that light brick shine for the fire to be keeping the dragon egg warm. But for some reason, I don't know if I built it wrong or for some reason it's just not working for me or if it doesn't work for everybody, but when I push down... It is not doing the light brick. I'm pushing down all the way. It just doesn't do it. If, unless I push really hard and go like more towards the middle. Yeah, I just broke that off. But yeah, it does, doesn't work super well for me. Tell me if you have this set, if it works well for you. Because I have to pull it up and push it down for me. But it is cool that they put a light brick in. And as you can see, there are a lot of these pieces in the set so you can just like swap things out if you want although you're not really supposed to but it comes with this little like duffel bag piece it sits there and then there's also like a doorway it goes through there into here there's a chest and it comes with a chocolate frog inside and then over here we have a table with a candle and it has the newspaper and it says, Daily Prophet, exclusive Harry Potter, the boy who lived. And there's a picture of the Lego Harry Potter. And then there is a chair right in front of that for someone to sit and maybe get a blank parchment to write on for possibly a school assignment. But there is a spider, which is kind of weird because... That should be based off of the Chamber of Secrets, but the set is based off of the Prisoner of Azkaban because it has Buckbeak and the Executioner and the Minister of Magic. 
So I don't know why there's a spider, but there is. And that is connected on a Technic pin up at the top, or a Technic like piece. And then over here, there's another one, and it comes with a bunch of things. There's like a knife or machete or something, a bucket, which Ron maybe uses to get his slugs in. There's like a lasso, a spoon, and a pan. And it's like goldish. There's a like chair back there. And then a bucket in here. Which has, let's take out this stuff. A shovel in it. And Hagrid's pink umbrella, which is basically his wand. And there is this um, ball joint. I don't know what that's for. It's like they could make another one that would connect to the back, but they're not going to do that. But there is a like broom over here on this clip, and then more sticker over right here. And yeah, it has like some arrows at the top. They're silvery. And, yeah, that's it for the build. Let's move on to my rating. Overall, I would rate this at an 8 out of 10. There were a lot of stickers, and these top parts weren't connected very well, and my light brick didn't work, um, or at least as it's supposed to work very well. But it can light up the fire, and you can warm the dragon egg. But there were a lot of minifigures, and it's really cool to get Buckbeak in Lego form. And, and it's, like, really cool to get a Hagrid's Hut, because it's a pretty iconic building or structure in Harry Potter. And this is my this is how I got my only Hagrid, and he's a really cool figure to get in Lego, because he's, like, really big. But... Tell me your opinion of this set in the comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you want to see more LEGO Harry Potter reviews. Thanks for watching. Bye.